All right, so we woke up this morning and this guy right here, who just happens to be locked up uh, for good reason, chewed up our carpet. So <laughs> right as we come out of our bedroom, apparently he wanted to get out and uh, the door was not open. So he tried to dig a tunnel and he completely wrecked our carpet. It is, it is down to the pad, even the pad is eaten. So we're gonna see what we can do to repair it on a budget. Uh, my plan is to cut a piece out of this carpet, a damaged piece, and take some carpet out of this guy's closet to replace it with. All right, that brings us to our son's room so we could steal some carpet from his closet, which is now cleaned out, which was actually a project of itself because he's 11. But um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our scraggly piece of carpet here and we're gonna put it in the corner so that we can steal a piece. Um, what I'm gonna wanna do, because you're gonna need to put a little lap on it, is add probably about another inch to it all the way across. So I got something to tuck in before I pull it tight onto the tack bar that's already in my bedroom. So we're gonna cut that out and we'll get back to it. Still in jail. All right, so we got our piece cut right here and it's gonna fit somewhere right about here. Uh, it's quite newer than the uh, worn main thoroughfare in and out of our bedroom here. So uh, it's not gonna look perfect, but I think after time, it'll kind of blend in. And eventually we'll need new carpet throughout the house, but that wasn't on the budget as of this morning. So this is what we're doing and uh, it's gonna look as good as it will. So there you have it. So what I'm gonna do is actually use this tape here and we're gonna cut pieces underneath the carpet lay down underneath this middle line here actually acts as a where your seam is going to be so you're going to tuck it in underneath like this put the new carpet on top of it and to finish it off you have to activate the glue i'm going to use an iron with a towel on it so i don't just burn the carpet um, and it should stick all together i'm going to cut the last it, just maybe a quarter inch past this tile so that I have just enough to pull it through and tuck into just past this tacker here. So we'll see how it looks and we're going to get after it. Okay, so the iron did not work. <laughs> Carpet tape did not work. It didn't even really heat up. Man, I had it on the highest setting and I was right on top of it. I even put the iron right directly on here to try to activate it and tuck it back in there. Didn't really work for me. Um, I think you actually need the right tools, go figure. So what I'm gonna do is plan B. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of uh, this, uh, this really sticky duct tape and I'm gonna tape the uh, two sections together uh, so that I'm able to actually pull it around this corner bead right here and fasten it to the strip. So I'm gonna to try to tape these together and uh, hope it works. Well, you can definitely tell. I ended up using that uh, duct tape instead of the carpet tape. Worked out pretty good. It's solid, it's together, it's on there. You can definitely tell the old carpet from the new carpet, but all in all, it sure looks a lot better than it, it was. I think the more, we, the more we walk on it, the more flattened it'll get, and the more it'll start to blend in with the other carpet. But that'll be it for this project, and we're gonna spray some bitter apple on it so that this guy doesn't chew it up again. <laughs>